GH Smart Sport TV, your ultimate sport channel. It is match day two down in Constantine. Group C, three teams, and they will be battling out for two positions to go ahead and go all the way to the quarterfinals. Nice touch, beautiful interception. Now back to Abdul Rahman, gets it in free space here, and this could be the opener on Slaughter. There was no surviving that. Absolutely carved out, hot knife through butter, Sudan. Whips it in, going towards the far post, headed back in, and a chance here to slip it in! The Titans here for the Galaxies! And right at the stroke of halftime, Ghana right back in it. Looking for a touch in here, this is a free and brought down in the box area, referee points instantly. There you go, a stamp of the foot yeah, and put down. That should definitely. be a penalty. And the verdict is penalty. Daniel Afrie completes the comeback. As the cross is bent in, arriving left, and it's a diving header. Absolutely brilliant team goal. And VAR says that will not count. Ghana will still rejoice in the fact that they did manage to come from a goal down. And there's a straight red card here. The drama never ceases in Constantine. David Abanga setting it on! Game, match, set! Then Ghana are right back in the equation here. It's Ghana 3, Sudan 1. I would say um, I'm very happy, very, very happy for having this win for my team, for Ghana, and for all Ghanaians. I say thanks to them over there, because I know all of them were worried when the calls that were coming. Everybody is praying that we should qualify and move forward. So I will say thanks to all Ghanaians for now. And thanks for you also that supported Ghana to move to the next stage of the competition. Um, you can see they were surprised with us uh, of conceding the first day. So if you uh, recollect or realize I have to call them and tell them why I did down. No, because I realize uh, body language looks as if they are done. So I have to sign them up and tell them, look, it's not over till it's over. Yeah. 20 men, let's go. Yeah. We can equalize and make it. So really, their morale went down. But I have to sign them up because I'm a father for them and let them know it is not over till it is over. Yes, uh, as we are here, uh, none of us we have supporters in Ghana, but if they should be here, maybe they also feel one side of the stadium. So when we came, we realized we don't have anybody. It's like uh, a son who don't have father, who don't have mother. So you rely on your own. Fight for yourself to succeed in life. So when we came, 
uh, coming to the field, we realized they were hailing the Sudanese. They were uh, shouting on them. So we realized we have nobody. So we have to fight for ourselves and make it for ourselves. So that's what we did. Uh, took to ourselves and that have made us successful. Well, uh, it is true, okay, occasionally uh, they make mistakes which I'm aware. But, uh, it's football. Definitely there will be mistakes that we need to correct. And this is a tournament that we've come. And these are the players I have. So uh, they always need to be directed. They always need to be talked to. So um, I think I'm happy you have also realized and you told me in which I am aware that there are petty, petty, petty things that have been doing. So as we move forward, uh, uh, I have to correct them from maybe tomorrow afternoon, let them know after watching the game themselves, then they will see their mistakes. There's no problem, we've not had any problem, any thing that is worried us. We are happy, safe, and constantly. And you see the organization of the half organization to the tournament, which I would say, no, uh, I have never been able to uh, be in the tournament before. But for what I have learned to be, or since we did, to play our first match, I have been convinced and happy uh, uh, about uh, the organization of the people with their uh, calf. I would say they have really tried and everything is okay. I'm happy with it. As a coach, I have trained with them I, for let me say a year now. And they know me, I know them. So when uh, they are playing, I think I don't need to shout at them. I only shout occasionally when the needs come. I don't need to be shouting. Beside that, uh, this is my style of coaching. When I'm at training, I push them, I shout at them. And when it comes to the game, I think as a coach, I have told them what to do on the foot. So I leave it for them to do it. And when the mistakes come, well, I want to shout, I'm shout. But I'm always calm on my players to do what I ask them to do. And, uh, it's just unfortunate institution happening. So um, I'm worried a bit because uh, it's one of my top strikers. And in this situation, I've really uh, worried a lot. But since I came with 23, 25 players, I'm really, really happy. It's only for a match. So I think we definitely have a replacement and to pay for the last uh, uh, the match that has the quarter finals if I talk to what is the quarter finals then uh, I think after that he's coming back so definitely uh, I will have a replacement to uh, it's up. Uh, I'm excited right now. Uh, we came into the game uh, having little fears that uh, knowing that if we had lost the game or even played a draw game or uh, winning 1 0, we needed a particular margin and uh, uh, coming out and uh, finally getting the needed margin. I, I'm just excited. I demand of the match, I want to just a bonus. I think uh, we flew on and I'm very excited. I think uh, when we considered the goal at first, 
uh, we needed to keep, uh, personally, I needed to tell myself that uh, I can't go down. And uh, uh, speaking with few teammates that were around, we needed to psych each other to stay focused. Because uh, this was like uh, a make or break affair for, for Ghana's team. So I think uh, I, we just needed to keep working and like uh, we came with a plan and we needed to stay focused. And uh, I think uh, this is the end of it and we are, we are happy about it. GH Smart Sport TV, your ultimate sports channel.